So now we're going to uh, install the Talon Elite socket um, with Lorentz in the front of the kayak here. Uh, we've identified a good position just up on the side gunnel here of the kayak to mount it in. You get the um, get it level get through. Flange with a recess on it already. That's what we use. So we basically just feed that cable through. You'll see it pop through the other side, and then it's simply just a quarter turn, and that's now locked in place. So there's no way that cable is going to come out loose now. I'm sure that those screws are tight enough for the uh, grommets. They stay in, uh, in place nice and snug. And then after the install is complete, everything closes up nicely. And that's the finish again. In on a 45, pull and turn. And that's locked in place. And now I can attach my uh, ram arm. So now I can simply just plug in my um, Lorentz unit and obviously using the RAM gear I have that full adjustable pitch and angle to allow my um, visibility in the ideal place for when I'm paddling. So I'll just tighten that in place there. And then the final step is the uh, transducer cable here. So again that just plugs nice and snugly into the unit. Plug it in and there I go. So here we've fitted out the uh, kayak using the Talon Elite socket to mount our uh, Lorentz Elite 5 unit here. Um, in the back of the kayak we use the Lorentz scupper mount system to mount the transducer cable. We've run that inside the kayak, up through underneath and then running into the back of the Elite socket here. So the system we've ended up with is something that's uh, from a usability perspective, gives you all that adjustability and function, but, but most essentially when we want to remove it couple of easy steps you can just remove the whole system, plug it up so it's nice and flush and clean.